In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a data logger with time frequency. So set the data logger to record predetermined tags at a specific time interval. So let's go ahead and go down to IO Data Server. And over to Data Loggers. And I'm going to right click anywhere inside the window here and click Add into New Data Logger. Now, what we've got here is we've got the data logger name. I'm going to call mine DL underscore. 5s data logger five seconds. We have enable and enable tag. We're going to come to enable tag in a few minutes. In execution, we have recording frequency. So days, hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So I'm going to set mine to zero five. So that's every five seconds. It's going to take a snapshot of the tags that we assigned to it. Let's come down to database settings and we've got the maximum age of the database. So how long do you need your data retained for? Now this can vary from industry to industry and this is something you'll have to find out as how long you need to store your data for for legislation. I'm going to set this to 720 days for our example, which is two years worth of data. tick. Now to add a column in, I can right click. I can either assign a tag or the easier way I found is take them from your tag list. Now I've generated these tags from the demo driver which is available in next 4.0 onwards and I've just assigned the tags to it physically. Let's come back to our data logger. So what I'm going to do is come over to the left to our project tree, down to our data server, find our tag list, and then just holding down control, I'm going to select each of the tags, bring them up, drop them onto the data logger. Now if I want, I can come over to properties and I can change the column name if I want to. that. Now because of the nature of this data logger in our properties here, it's going to run every five seconds 24-7. Now it may be a case where you only want to record information if you're in a set process. For instance, you may want to check an oven temperature only when the oven's running. So in this instance, we need to use a Boolean tag to turn it on and off. So we have this enable tag here. I'm going to hit the three dots and it's going to bring me to my tag list. Now I haven't got a tag for it at the moment. I'm just going to create a folder to keep it nice and tidy. I'm going to put the tag in there. Call this one on. Time. And then I'm going to create a tag in there, which is a Boolean. And I'm just going to call it Enable DL, just to make it nice and simple. This can be physically addressed as well. So if you wanted the trigger from your PLC, you could do it. Or if you wanted the trigger from a button on screen, you could do it. So we'll hit OK. Now with that highlighted, we'll hit OK again. And now we've got that tag to enable. So let's go over to our screen. I'm going to come down to my toolbox, find me a switch, and let's let's find a nice smart switch. 
I'll just bring that out to here. Now we need to tag it up. Point out and uh, enable data logger boolean. And then just so we can see what's going on and what's in our database. In fact, let's get this completely square. So I'm going to select this one and this, and then using our controls at the top, just align the top, keep it all nice and neat. So going to toolbox, when you come down to historian data views, grab a data logger viewer. Again, if we just want to keep it nice and tidy, we can do so. And then we'll just bring it just to fit our shape on screen. Now, what we need to do now is tell the viewer what data logger to use. So we can come to data logger name and call it DL5 seconds. We'll then save all, and let's start it. So if we hit refresh now, we've got nothing coming through, even after five seconds. When we enable, wait for five seconds, we can see that the tags have been recorded by time as the recorded reason, and the values are there. And we can see every five seconds, 40, 35, 30, we can see that a new record is going in. It, when we want to stop the process and stop the on time, we just send the boolean low. And that's how you use an on time data logger in Mobicop Next. Thanks for watching.